Hello, everybody. Hopefully, yep, you can hear me. We're going to be going through the Sunday night football game. The Cowboys and 49ers. This one should be a really good one. I currently was just watching a couple of the noon games, mostly the Chiefs and Vikings. Uh, Travis Kelsey went to the locker room and had to have x-rays done on his foot. Mahomes is out there limping around. And they're tied at 13 and 13. That's not looking very good for the Kansas City Chiefs. But we go into the Cowboys and 49ers. And we've got two juggernauts that are very talented on the offensive side. The defenses are good in their own respect. But the 49ers have a little bit of a hole in their passing defense. Cowboys have a little bit of a hole in their running running defense. Uh, 49ers do really good on the run, especially with CMC as their running back. He's amazing. Uh, then you got um, over on the Cowboys side. They are middle of the road with the passing, but that Patriots team wasn't really a show of the Cowboys being against a real team. This is the Cowboys against a real team. It's in prime time and everything. I don't have the Cowboys completely shitting the bed would be the better term for it. Uh, or to say lack of a better term. Not saying that they're going to do bad, but on this one, I do have the 49ers, uh, Cowboys getting their first look at a real defense. And then their defense is going to have to do, deal with a high-powered offense. I mentioned Trayvon Diggs being out in a couple of videos, and that's just unfortunate. This game, De Damon Clark and Peyton Hendershot... Uh, well, Peyton Hendershot is for sure out. Damon Clark is still questionable for the 49ers. Elijah Mitchell has been ruled out. John Feliciano is questionable, the offensive lineman. For the stats on their team, the Cowboys got Dak, Tony Pollard, and CeeDee Lamb. Dak's went 97 for 136 attempts. Uh, for 908 yards, four toddies, and an interception. Brock Purdy, or Tony Pollard, getting ahead of myself there. Tony Pollard's got 73 carries for 311 yards and two touchdowns. C.D. Lamb, 23 catches, 309 yards, and a tutty. So, that's the stats for the Cowboys. San Francisco on the other side has Brock Purdy, CMC, Brandon Ayuk. Brock Purdy is sitting at 81 for 112 attempts, 1,019 yards, and 5 touchdowns on the year. It's amazing. CMC's at 80 carries, 459 yards, and 6 touchdowns. A little less, little less yardage, a little more touchdowns. Brandon Ayuk, or did I mess that up? Brandon Ayuk is 17 catches for 320 yards and 2 touchdowns. Might be getting names mixed up. The matchup predictor has San Francisco by 55%, and I'm going to agree with them on that. Again, I'm going to agree with them on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. It, I've got it down at uh, two touchdown, two touchdowns and four four field goals. Uh, on, this, on the season, stat-wise... Uh, San Francisco has five receiving touchdowns, nine rushing touchdowns. Cowboys got four receiving and four rush four rushing touchdowns. I'm running words together. Uh, both teams are ranked really high. San Francisco's the third ranked offense. Uh, Dallas is got right behind them at number four. And again, like I said, those defenses are prolific in their own rights. Turnover differential is amazing. Uh, San Francisco's got plus four and Dallas is plus nine. The only difference is that Cowboys actually have defensive points on their side. Cowboys have a fumble return and two pick sixes. That's 
That's pretty good. And especially the better turnover differential. I feel like it's going to be close and it's just going to be a battle. There's going to be a couple of touchdowns that they get, that the Cowboys get. I've got the Cowboys down as night or I got the Cowboys down as 19 with a couple of touchdowns, but I do have them because their uh kicker has missed a couple extra points this year. I feel like maybe tonight that he might miss another one. Just a wild, wild throwing out there. If he doesn't, it'd be 20 points. But I've got it 26 to 19. San Francisco winning. Total yards. Number 11 for the Cowboys. Number 2 for the San Francisco 49ers. And then on the defense for what's allowed. They're the second best defense for the Cowboys. Uh, and fifth ranked defense for the 49ers. Pretty much that. Also, uh, Brock Purdy. That's another mention to have in this conversation is Brock Purdy uh, on ESPN. They're going to predict that Brock Purdy is going to have a pass intercepted. Um, hasn't had a pass picked off in his past five regular season appearances. So last year and hasn't been picked off this year. They're, they're calling that he's going to get intercepted by that Cowboys defense. I don't see it. And I still see Brock Purdy and that offense continuing, going perfect. Line, linebacker Leighton Van Der Esch over on the Cowboys is a pretty key part of their defense also. He's, he's one of the ones that is notable on someone to watch for the game. Kyle Shanahan is notorious for targeting opposing linebackers, and Leighton Van Der Esch has a very good .2 yards per coverage snap this season through four games. So, I mean, if there was an interception, I think Leighton Van Der Esch might actually be the one to get it. So, there's also, there's always a chance of it. I feel like Brock Purdy is still going to remain consistent and perfect. Yeah, he's he's got he's ever he he's less than average on attempts and it's easy when you have CMC. So, if it comes down to it, just hand off the ball to him or dump it down, someone's going to be able to bail him out. Yeah. Pretty much that'd be it for it. Dallas second in NFC East. San Francisco with that perfect record is first in the NFC West. And that will be it for Sunday Night Football. Thank you guys. If you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and go through the library. Thank you guys that already are out there supporting me. I love and appreciate all of you. Be kind and respectful to others, and most of all, be kind and respectful to yourself. You're the most important person in this world, and nobody is more important, more important than yourself. Again, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.